world! Dinosaurs are awesome. They're crazy quasi-reptilian proto-birds that ruled the Earth for 135 million years. That's a long time. Let's put it in perspective. Imagine you have a time car. Let's say the dawn of the dinosaurs is at the Statue of Liberty in New York City, and that the present day is at the Hollywood sign in Los Angeles some 2,800 miles away. So, you're at the Statue of Liberty. It's 230 million years ago. Dinosaurs are making their debut. You get in your magic time car and drive out of New York all the way across Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, and Colorado. After driving for 29 hours straight, you finally stop somewhere right around Grand Junction, Colorado, some 2,000 miles from NYC. It's 65 million years ago. BAM! No more dinosaurs. You're depressed. So you grab some Slim Jims and a Diet Coke. You get back in your time car and keep driving, crossing Utah, the corner of Arizona, and the southern tip of Nevada. You wave to the hookers in Las Vegas and then make your way across Southern California. You finally arrive in Los Angeles. You're almost to the Hollywood sign, but where are the humans? Suddenly, you realize you really have to pee. You're about to go in your pants, so you pull over onto the shoulder of the 101 near Lexington Park. Quick pee, nobody see. At this point, you're only 2.4 miles from the Hollywood sign. You look around and notice my modern day homo sapiens. They just arrived right around 200,000 years ago. You're about to take an Instagram of these early people, but they're grunting nonsense and it looks like they're about to throw feces at you. Get back in the time car. You hop in and pull off. You're only three minutes away. Homo sapiens stop throwing feces and start making tools. As you get off the 101, the early humans begin migrating out of Africa. You turn left on Highland Avenue, and the glaciers start to melt. A few seconds later, the hunter-gatherers start farming for the first time. This is great! You pull up and park your time car only 130 yards down the street from the Hollywood sign. You put money in the meter, and you notice that the humans are actually starting to write things down. History is being recorded for the first time right in front of Linda's beauty salon. You walk the length of a football field down Highland, and then suddenly, with 43 yards to go, Jesus Christ, a savior is born! Right next to the Starbucks. Oh yeah! Keep walking. 30 yards to go. Muhammad starts preaching in Mecca. 20 yards. The Crusades begin. 10. Christopher Columbus gets in a boat. 15 feet to go. The American Revolution. 10 feet. The Civil War. 5. Nazis! Two and a half. There's a man on the moon! In the last two feet, I explode from my mother's womb. Kurt Cobain kills himself. Everyone logs onto the internet. Obama gets reelected in the last inch, and then BAM! We're here. The Hollywood sign. Nope, we're outside the Lucky Strike bowling lanes. Google Maps sent us to the wrong address. Whatever. The point is, on that 2,800 mile, two day journey, dinosaurs took up the first 2,000 miles. And all 6,000 years of recorded human history happened in the last 386 feet. But, let's be honest, we were asleep between Grand Junction and that Chevron about 200 yards back, so what happened in those 65 million years between when the dinosaurs pieced out in the end of the last glacial period 10,000 years ago. Here's a glimpse of what we missed. What the hell was that? You'll have to watch the next episode to find out. In the meantime, we just took a badass trip in a time car. Let's make up a song about it. I was hanging out at the Statue of Liberty Thinking humans were number one When a mysterious man came up to me I said, get into my car So I got inside and we went for a ride When suddenly I started to see There were dinosaurs all around me They were eating plants and killing each other I turned to the mysterious man and I said What kind of car is this anyway? He said it's a time car The best kind of car Cause it shows you stuff from history Teaches you how things used to be And I said, hey, yeah, I love this time car We stopped off to get some snacks And we saw the dinosaurs dying very painfully Which was cool, but then we kept on driving Till we got to Hollywood Where early humans threw their poop at me When we arrived at Lucky Strike Lanes The man was pissed at Google Maps But I saw that humans had only been cool for a minute or two, which compared to dinosaurs was total crap because of the time car putting the world in perspective for me and I'm hoping that now I'll be a better person than I used to be now I know the dinosaurs are just like me hey.
I love this time car. That's how you do it. <laughs>